Richard Southern joins us for our interesting stories chat. Now, Richard, maybe someday Aerosmith will write a song about this one. Uh, scientists at NASA are celebrating a big success this evening. Not wanting to miss a thing, Erica. NASA crashed a spacecraft into an asteroid. We were watching this in the newsroom last we night, weren't we? Were. We watched it live, yes. We did. It was a, a vending machine-sized spacecraft impacting a football stadium asteroid. There it is, the impact from an Earth-based telescope, Erica. Wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, the impact once more for you. Uh, the the spacecraft itself had a camera on it, but of course it went dead just ahead of that impact. NASA doing this to see if it can nudge this asteroid off course, trying to you know, do, prove the fact that we could stop an asteroid from hitting Earth. This particular asteroid, fortunately, mm. not on pace to hit Earth. Unlike Hollywood hits like Armageddon, which Erica referenced, uh, no nuclear weapons were involved in this. NASA's goal is for a much simpler destruction. And Erica, it's going to be a couple of weeks before they know for sure whether or not the direction of the asteroid was changed enough for NASA to uh, complete its goal or not. But so that's pretty cool neat. to see. Yeah, definitely. OK, while some space explorers are trying to save the planet, others have far less lofty goals, like playing sports in zero gravity. It's the world's first zero G soccer match, Erica, or football match, if you will. Mm -hmm. Most a lot of our footy watchers were saying, well, say, Richard, you got to call it footy. But look at this. <laughs> uh, this is. <laughs> They constructed, Erica, a 75-meter long pitch inside an aircraft, which was doing parabolas. You know, when the aircraft dives, everyone feels zero G. Right. And these are professional football players from Europe in the first ever zero G football match. I'm a big sports fan, but admittedly not much of a soccer fan. So this is making the game a bit more interesting to me. What about you, Erica? I, I like watching it. I mean, I don't see what the point is. The, the ball's not going to go where you want it to go. So <laughs> I can't really get it, but it's fun it's, to watch. It's just as hard to score in zero G as it is in uh, regular G, apparently, when it comes to soccer. I Erica. guess so. That's really cool. OK, <laughs> uh, back here on Earth, there could be a new rival to the charcuterie board when it comes to entertaining guests. This is the new TikTok trend. And of course, we know Erica has a little TikTok addiction. So maybe I'm preaching to the choir. Maybe you're aware of this, Erica. But it's called the Butterboard. Have oh, you yeah. seen this thing? I have seen it. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> but of course you have. It's basically replacing the charcuterie board. You spread a lot of softened butter on a board or a plate, <laughs> put some flaky salt on, some lemon zest, some toppings, whatever you like. Grate some lemon and nutmeg and put some herbs on it. And then you take your piece of bread and once you put your honey all over it, you take your bread and you dip it into all that buttery goodness like they're going to do right here. It's and my comfort what do you think? There. I think, yeah, when I'm having a tough day or when I've had a tough day, I'll just make, make myself a butter board. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to share it, to be clear, apparently, but I don't know. We're just, what are we for having you. for dinner? What are we having for dinner, Erica? Just a board, just a butter board. covered in butter. <laughs> Enjoy. No big deal. Low calorie. I'm into it. I like it. Okay, thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.